Howdy. All right, time's here. The LS1 T56 combo is rolled out, getting ready to get underneath the once was V6 automatic Camaro. I uh, moved some shuffles and things around and just made myself some more space here. Um, but gonna try getting this underneath there today. I just pre bled the tick master cylinder. Um, very easy process to do. It is a two person process, but uh, Tick has a really good video on it. Essentially, there on um, your master cylinder transmission side end, there's this connector here. And it's got that little plunger in there. All you gotta do is stick a screwdriver in that plunger and depress it. All the while, you have someone in the car pressing the clutch and uh, you can bleed out your clutch that way and that way you don't have to do it when the slave cylinder's on there and try to push it all through a really small orifice. You got a bigger one, it goes a lot quicker. Um, I flushed out the heater core and I flushed out the water in the LS1 and I think we're ready to get this in the air. Uh, I did change out the rear diff fluid so I'm just going to put some of that in before I take the rear end down and then We'll get this up in the air and try to slide an LS1 underneath. We're inching closer. So, hey, there's an LS1 in the green Camaro. Got it all dropped in today. Um, I went nice and slow with it. Uh, you know, when I put the V6 back in the silver car, uh, I kind of rushed it a little bit. And, you know, this one I wanted to make sure I was... Everything was in the right spot when I started to tighten stuff down. So I found the easiest way was I was setting down the uh, car and I got it set up in the shock towers and then brought the car back up a little bit and sat the uh, engine on some blocks and then brought the body back down. And so the wheels were hanging in the air, yet the body was hanging was you know on the uh, K-member. And that was the easiest way to get the bolts to line up. Um, otherwise... I was fighting a gap was the issue. So last night I got the rear end, uh, rear diff cleaned up, um, and I got new oil in there along with some limited slip additive. Got the T56 up in there. Uh, I filled that up with some fluid. Drive shafts in, uh, torque arms in. LS1's up here. Uh, most of the wiring is done and clicked in. Uh, the inside of the two two body connectors in there. PCM, all these fender wall fender wall things here. Um, the only thing that I'm fighting right now is the alternator. Uh, I have the Racetronics 255 and that wires directly up to the alternator. So working on that and then just trying to tuck some things away in here. Uh, so that way they don't sit in the headers. Uh, other than that, change the engine oil as well. Um, and that's about it for today. Uh, just trying to go slow and you know, take my time with things. Tomorrow, I just got to tuck up some more wiring. Um, get a shifter installed. Swap over brakes and wheels. Bleed the brakes, bleed the clutch. Get a coolant system in here. Uh, AC. I'm hoping for the first startup. I think we can really get it done tomorrow. So that's going to be my plan. Uh, that's all going to be rolling to one video for this. So uh, until we start it up, and that'll be a separate video. So see you tomorrow. Well, here she is in all her glory. Back on all fours for the first time in quite a while. Got the V8 in there, the SLP lid. T56 all mounted up. Today was just a bunch of little ticky tacky stuff that uh, not really worth taking video of. Hawks short throw shifter came with the T56 when I bought it. So that's all in there. Um, I already did put power to it just to get the driver's seat uh, to move backwards. So <laughs> at, least, uh, at least something worked, which is good. Um, but other than that, I don't know, today was, like I said, just kind of swapping, had to swap brakes, uh, did oil change, 
you know, put transmission fluid in, uh, bled all the brakes, bled the clutch. I uh, got the intake in, got the radiator on, got the AC stuff on. I did go with a uh, Sam Strano, Strano uh, master cylinder brace. Apparently that's also supposed to help with the clutch feel. So we're getting ready here to do the first startup. So it's gonna be a second video here, but I'm first going to pull the fuel pump relay, the fuse uh, at least uh, that runs power back there. And cycle this a few times to get some oil. Uh, hasn't run in about a year, I would say. Probably a year that uh, LS1 hasn't ran. So, all right, let's get after it. <laughs> 